what's going on everybody um if you're on this youtube channel then you know where you're at again my name is terrence banks football season is over with so i'm about to start trying to update my youtube channel with some videos from this past season um took a job here at a single leg school in georgia so didn't have as much time first year to put out videos during the season but here's my first video which talks about one of our top plays from the 2022 football season if you didn't know um, at all, I'm sure you do. If you didn't know, I got a book that's out, 101 plays in the power spread. Um, I'm going to be updating some other things, but if you do not have a book, if you a power spread offense, that means you run inside zone, outside zone, dart, power, counter, various passing game, get the book. The book is not going to teach you the offense. I need to write a book about that, but this book will give you variations that you can use for your next upcoming season. It's the off season. It's time to learn and, and work on our craft for next year. So I want to talk about what was one of our number one plays. Really, it was our number one play um, of the past season, which is to skip zone inside zone RPO. And I want you to show you guys how that works. All right, guys, so here it is. Um, I'll skip RPO and rewind it for you guys so you guys can see the formation. All right, guys, so here's what we did, okay? We took a kid right here. This kid right here, guys, is really our number one receiver. He ended up with 1,000 yards this uh, season receiving. This here is our tailback. He also ran for over – it's actually our backup tailback in right now, but our star tailback ran for over 1,000 yards. So on the skip RPO, what happens is these gentlemen are going to block one and two. This guy is going to start a step inside, and he's going to run the flat RPO. Um, LSU, Cincinnati made this play most popular. Um, great way to influence the guy with the leak route. He catches the ball behind the line of scrimmage. And then you have also your regular inside zone off the play. So if we're counting the box, this team here, this is not the first time we ran to play this game. This is a run clip that I want you to see. What they're doing now is they've went ahead and bumped the linebacker out the box to, to have somebody to cover for the skip RPO, leaving a lighter box. So if you watch the play from here from a quarterback, they go to zone read. You see the skip happening, and we hand it off, and we get – about a six yard, five yard gain. Run it again for you so you can see it. If it'll let me play. We hand it off. They still didn't need to cover the skip, but again, we got a big gain off it, five yard gain. Go to another clip. Here it is. Here, I'm going to stop it. As you can see, this is a little later in the game. All right. Now that guy's starting to. TD back in the box. Okay. So if you watch here, quarterback zones it. He's behind. He dumps out the skip. So now is can you have an athletic enough kid to outrun him to at least get you five yards? So rewinding it back so you see it. He steps in. Quarterback pulls it. We get decent block. And we had 10 plus yards. That kid, like I say, is a better kid. And so he makes a play. Yeah, I know everybody going to say, Coach, the block by your tight end, deal with that. Hands need to be a little tighter. But as you can see, we've got 10-plus yards. They miss a tackle. And then our best player is um, getting the ball. So you another clip of it here from inside the red zone. Same thing. He chips him as he goes out. He dump him to him, even with the missed block. That guy has the edge, and then he's in the end zone. So, as you can see, so guys, as you can see, um, and I'll come back and I'll talk about RPOs that we end up putting off of that play later on in the season, but that was the skip RPO that we used a lot. Any formation where you can get that guy um, leaking to the flats, we use it in the red zone. I'll come back and show that as one of our bonus red zone plays later mm -hmm. on that we had. Um, we use that play pretty much at a different formation. If you use it with a backside tight end, if you worry about lead through, we went tight end wing twins and we shipped them over and ran it. And, of course, you can run it from two by two split back with him digging into the flat. 
so that's really our number one RPO. Um, and so um, it was big for us this season. We'll be advancing what we do as far as off of that next year that I think will be key to help us keep teams honest. But if you're looking for a play to start install, I will start there. And, of course, is in the book. Um, the RPO that we ran off of it was, is not in the book. I'm going to do a video for that. But I appreciate you guys watching the channel, and hopefully you can learn something to take with you for next season. Talk to you guys later.